Ramuja, and this is my second term as a chairperson of the school. Can you please nominate me again? Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to stand here. Very, very nice. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'd like to thank uh, everyone who is here at COG, Netcare, Waltons. Wow, guys, it's a privilege. It's an honor for you guys to come and donate whatever that you're donating to our school. Can you please not be the, the Katlamping school? Let the other school know that you are here, that you can do whatever that you do. But they have to come to us because already we are on the map. We show <laughs> that this is the thing that we do. <laughs> so hence, we know that some, some people, they are afraid of coming in front and said, oh, what, SGP, SGP, they eat money with the principal. We don't eat money. We consider what our school needs. So since while well you are here, this is what Hatlamping is doing. And I'm afraid it's still going more. We still have a lot to do. And before I stand down, the school will be on top of the world since well, we are already on top. <laughs> so I would like to thank everyone who's here today. And I'm a very, very, very proud person standing right next year, even with my principal, Mr. Mofikin. He knows, he knows me very well. I'm a strict person. I don't like jokes and I don't do wara wara things. When he says this, I said, no, he knows me very well. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And my lovely students here, SGB Maramudane, Lanzi Banker. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Ramuk. I would like to call upon Dr. Tepo Mutepe to give us the keynote address. Oh. No, 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 I'm fine. Uh, good morning, Sanbonani, Molweni, Melang, Absheni, Nasihari, Kuyamada, Yaleboka. Uh, good afternoon, representatives of the Department of Education, representatives of the Department of uh, Health, representatives from the Langkuta Pila, Okabe. Already, representatives from the Department of South African Police for, uh, Services, founder of the Pink Forum, Mandisa Gianni, this really remarkable young woman, and her friends and the people who work in the Pink Forum, the principal of uh, Katlamping, Mr. Deboko Mufukeng and the management of the school, uh, the deputy chairperson of the school governing body, Ms. Ram Mutla, the chief executive officer of NetCare, Dr. Richard Friedland, the group human resources and transformation director uh, of uh, my work, Mr. Neba Nzuaiwa. Actually, he's the group director yeah, of, of NetCare, not of my work, but he's of my work. The founder of the Guinness Foundation, Mr. Sudi. I can't see you, gentlemen, whom I'm talking about. Oh, I saw Mr. Dr. Nzwaiba uh, coming from somewhere here. Where are you? Oh, and uh, Dr. Friedland. Oh, all right. Yes, and Mr. Uh, Guinness. Where are you? There, there they are. 
or thank you. Uh, the representative of Agpoc, Ingrams, Bidvest, and Waltons, the learners of uh, Katlamping Primary School who are here with us, and you can hear the noise levels have gone down. It's very good. And this is what we are very happy about that our children are being fed. I'm honored. I'm really honored to be back here today, and I'm actually very emotional. I didn't know that you've already distributed 20,000 pairs of shoes. I didn't know that. This is really remarkable. Today, we are here uh, to celebrate what NetCare and my work have done. We have brought shoes to the children and these are really good quality shoes. Very, very good quality. These are the type of shoes that one can wear when you are on, going on a date, you know, not that they're in dating age yet. These are shoes that, uh, they are very good. The first uh, set of shoes that you showed me when you came to our offices are not like what we have here. These are really good shoes. Thank you very much. Now, you know, you really know that a helping hand can make a significant difference. A helping hand can touch and change lives. As uh, Mandisa said, we're here last year when the Pink Forum launched the Pink Classrooms. And that was at the beginning where young people are making sure that learners come here after school can get uh, good counseling, can continue their homework, are in the same and safe environment. And, uh, you know, parents can relax while they are at work, knowing that their children are not in any danger because the minute school is school, you know, the children are no longer at school, it's not a safe time for our children. That is where they are at the danger of, you know, being victims of whatever one can think about. Thank you very much. And last year was also when you were launching the vegetable garden. I'm really impressed. The garden I saw this year is a real garden. Yeah. And the cabbage that I saw today, it's what we are now feeding the children yeah. and making sure, you know, it's very important that children receive nutritious food while they are young because we want to make sure that their mind is well developed and that they can grow tall and be contributing members of society. Now, I have uh, witnessed the dedication and energy which the Pink Forum and its partners are involved in. At the time that I was here last year, I wished that this venture would grow from strength to strength. And I'm really impressed that it's not only the Pink Forum. You've now got all these companies who are also, you know, helping with what you are involved in. And this is exactly what we are doing, all working towards the future of our children, making sure that we support them. And this is what it should be. Private companies coming to work with the government to support our communities. And uh, I am very confident that we are, you are really going to progress. And I know that you have a partnership with the Department of Education and that you are doing your work at other schools. The Pink Forum is involved at other schools, which is really what we encourage. Uh, I hope that the, that the unveiling of the new renovated Pink Forum, which, we, which is the second phase of which we, are, which we were launched last year, and uh, with the assistance of the companies that the children in the community will be supported. I'm very grateful to see familiar faces, which I saw last year. And of course, as I said, there are now new faces. 
of the companies and the other, you know, stakeholders who are involved. Now, the name of Tembisa means you know, it's, uh, it's promises. The name of this township, it gives us the confidence and the hope that the children in the schools will, will be supported and that the program will succeed. I wish to express, as I said again, how I admire and how grateful I am towards Mandisa and her stakeholders, and of course Mandisa, we will always make sure that we support you. And please don't give me all the glory. I mustn't stand on your shoulders. I must congratulate you and all the young people and we'll make sure that such initiatives are well supported and receive as much uh, you know, support as possible. You were mentioning about the psychosocial support and we've been lucky to find an academic who's with the Bits University, who's going to start bringing people who are going to address and try and help the children with the psychosocial problems. We know, especially during um, this COVID, mental health, people suffered and they will get all the support that they get. And through your shining light and your activism and, uh, you know, you are putting a spotlight on the challenges that require intervention. Thank you very much. I wish to congratulate and also express how, you know, we, we are grateful to us, NetCare, my work, the Guinness Foundation, Edcom, Ingram, and Goodvest. What they are doing is what we call shared value. They are making sure that they are supporting these children. Among those children are people who are going to benefit and sit like you because you have had the advantage of being educated and reaching where you are. They are the future people who are going to take your positions and mine. These are the future executives who might be working for these companies. And these are the, their future customers. In the end, it's a win-win situation. The company supports the community. And in the end, the company benefits from what they, their involvement in, in supporting the communities. And we all know that there's great value in assisting education because education is one of the key vehicles which we rely to drive change and development, not only in the lives of the people, but those of the, of the children, not only in the lives of the children, but those of their families and their communities. Supporting schools and needy children with the support they require shows just how much we value the national, our national efforts. It shows that we care about the future of our country. Tata Nelson Mandela said exactly he, he should be very happy where we are, that we are supporting our youth because he said it, that supporting the children means that we are supporting our future. There should be no child who goes to school without shoes. There should be no child who goes to school without on an empty stomach. And we are very happy. I saw the ladies who are cooking the food. Lautra is so quiet because they are eating. I would also do the same thing if I was enjoying a, a very healthy meal. And uh, we need to bridge the inequalities in our societies and in our school because every child deserves access to quality education and we need them to have the best education that, that they can get. Thank you very much, everybody. It takes a village to raise a child, and we know that that is what we are involved in. It takes in NGOs and individuals like Mandisa. It takes committed teachers 
and involved and supportive parents. And it takes cooperatives like net co corporate companies like Netcare, Edcock Ingrams, Waltons, and Bridvest working alongside government. I would like to thank everybody who is here. We are celebrating. We should continue celebrating and we should tell everybody what these companies have done for us. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mudebe. I would like to call upon the deputy principal, Ms. Sulusen, to give us the vote of thanks. Oh yes, it's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day. Oh yes, it's a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Oh yes, it's a wonderful day. I just wanna look at you. Hello, Or are you not in the mood? Now I'm excited because of what is happening in our school today. I'm very much happy. Let me recognize or acknowledge our first lady, Dr. Muzipe Ramaphosa, Department of Education, uh, Edcock Ingram, Medcare. Um, distinguished guest, everybody who's here, thank you very much for gracing us with your presence. Your presence is highly appreciated and it adds value to our cause. We appreciate everything that you are doing to our school and to Hatlantin community by helping out the needy. Thank you very much. What you, what you have done today can never go unnoticed and it can still go a long way. Mutsana ore. Go tsaya go fita malebogo. Go lebuga. Batho ba tlileng go 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 matlafatsa. Le go etleletsa. Le go bipa wa. To, 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 to people who do not understand this language, who be for what? Because the president, the, the, the first lady came here, she saw us. She came to cover, to cover up, together with the companies that are here, to cover up, to restore dignity in a black child. Because it, 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 to me, what is happening today is just simply to say this, the learners of Hatambing are equal. Whether you come from a, a, a poor community, a, a poor family, today, nobody will see you. They are all equal. So I would like to appreciate everything, all the donations that the companies, the Pink Forum, Mandy, you are doing a great job. As, as young as you are, you deserve. Mm. And we are now I'm really touched by what is, hap what, what is happening here in our schools. And we are indebted to your kindness and your spirit of giving. Thank you very much. <laughs>